In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use on-chain analysis to find smart money wallets that bought tokens that are trending today early and then track which new tokens they're buying today. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is solely intended to be for educational purposes. Now let's get into it. To start, let's go through the tools that we'll be using in today's video. First tool we're going to use is CoinGecko to find coins that are currently trending. Second, we're going to use Dex Screener, and Dex Screener is really going to form the core of this video. You may have used Dex Screener before to chart on chain tokens. However, it also has some tools for finding the people who have the highest PL for any given token, and so we're going to use that today to find who's actually making money on these tokens. And then finally, we're going to use DBank, which is a powerful tool for tracking the owners of wallets. All right, so let's get into it then. To start, we're going to want to find tokens that are currently doing well, and we want these tokens to fulfill a few criteria. First, obviously they have to be up, right? It doesn't do us any good if the coin is down. We want to find a coin that's up and then figure out who bought it early. Second, it's got to be a coin that is traded on decentralized exchanges. It's okay if it's also traded on centralized exchanges, but it needs to have a good portion of its volume from decentralized exchanges. And the reason for that is that can't really see what's happening on a centralized exchange that's not recorded in an easy to view way on chain however anything that's happening on chain on a decentralized exchange you can easily track on chain all right so the first place we're going to go is on CoinGecko. hover over this bar that says cryptocurrencies at the top and then select gainers and losers and so what this is going to do is it's going to show us the top gainers for the past 24 hours and I'm going to change it to past 30 days to see which tokens are up in the past 30 days. And there's a lot here that would work, right? You can see there's this page alone shows things that are up 93% or more. But the one that I'm going to go with is known as DGEN on base. And this is a community token for the social app Farcaster. And also now it's its own layer three on built on top of base and it's up 239 percent this month and note that you could have gone with most of these other tokens um, i just chose chose dgen because first off it's got a high market cap and so we'll be able to find some wallets hopefully that have generated some very large pnls by riding this up from a low market cap to a large one second it's traded largely on decentralized exchanges or at least a significant portion of its volume is if we look at the top markets, then we see there's some centralized exchanges here. For example, Gate.io has a lot of volume, as does HTX, but Uniswap V3 is one of the largest exchanges. So there should be enough examples of people buying and selling on chain for us to find some good wallets. Remember, you don't need to find everyone who did well with this. You just need to find a couple smart money wallets that did well with DGEN, and then we're going to take a look at what they're buying now and track them in the future to get a sense of which other tokens might be next. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Dex Screener, and I always recommend to copy the contract address from CoinGecko. You could type in DGEN, but if we do, like, let's see what happens. You see there is, this is probably the right DGEN, but you can see there's a whole bunch of different DGENs, and some of them are fake scam tokens. So I, I like to copy the contract address, and now I'm gonna search for DGEN. And you can see now you know this is the right one and there's a few different ones you can choose but i'm going to go with the highest volume one right here at the top all right and so here is dgen we can see this has an incredible run up and so what a lot of people don't know even if they've used dex screener before is by default you see transactions down here but there's also this other tab that shows you the top traders and this is really powerful i literally think this is probably one of the most powerful on-chain analysis tools and many people don't know about it even people who do stuff on chain so this is showing you the wallets that have made the highest pnl from dgen and so we can see here this wallet bought it for thirty thousand dollars about thirty thousand dollars worth and then sold that thirty thousand dollars worth for 8.1 million dollars and so the point of this isn't to say okay we should you know buy dgen now because this person made money on it, right? No, that's not uh, not what I'm saying, right? The, the point is to buy these things at the $30,000, not at the 8.1 million. Let me see if I can zoom in. So buy it here 
right? Not here. So what we're going to do is we are going to track wallets like this one and take a look at what they are buying now. Because if they made one good call, then I would say there's a better chance they're going to make more good calls in the future. Certainly it's better than copying someone who has made zero good calls or has made bad calls. And so now what we want to do is we want to go through and track some of these wallets that bought tokens early. All right, so let's find some that made pretty good returns on this. And I'm looking for people who made just exponential returns, bought this really early, made a lot of money. Not two, three X, I mean, that's great. But um, for this exercise, we want people who who really were able to get in early. So we see this wallet here, bought at 30,000, sold 8.1 million. Looks good to me, I would take it. Let's find a few more, I'll check them out and then I'll look at them all at once. So we've got this one here. 0x24 bought at 196,000 sold at 1.8 million so almost almost a 10x not bad we'll open up that and I'm just clicking this button over on the right to open it in a new tab I'll go back and and review all of them in a second this one here 2300 to 869,000 that's life-changing money all right well we'll see what this person's cooking right do they have anything else interesting going on and then the final one that I'm going to go with is let's do this one 141 to 855 looks good. And by the way, if I skip some that you think, you know, I should have looked at a uh, big part of it is because some of these wallets I looked at before and saw that they weren't holding anything interesting. So I'll save you guys the time of, of looking at wallets that don't have anything interesting. Um, so here we've got some of these wallets now. This opens up base scan, or if you were on Ethereum, it would open up Ether scan by default. And what we're going to do is this wallet up address up at the top, we're going to copy that. You can either highlight it and copy or click this copy address button. And then we're going to go over to DBank and I'm going to search for this address. And let's see what else this person is holding. So this wallet has 800 almost $820,000 now. So they've moved some money around since they cashed out. And if we look at their holdings, they're on base, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Optimism. They're really, this is a cross-chain portfolio. And of, of the tokens they're holding right now, ETH is the largest. Then we've got some USDT, AVAX, USDC, ETH, bunch of stable coins, Phantom, and then some smaller allocations. But for this person has mostly risked off. They're mostly in ETH, AVEX, stablecoins, and Phantom. I would say of those in terms of investable things, Phantom is probably is the smallest, so that's maybe the most interesting. Uh, but this person is not in a ton of other plays in the future. But that's a good example of the sort of things you can find. Let's look at the next one now, right? You can just go through a few of these and see what else they're holding. So this wallet here. Remember, this was one of the the other wallets that made a lot of money with DGEN. This wallet is exclusively holding DGEN still. So they so they sold DGEN, they made money, I guess they cashed out, but they're also still holding a lot of DGEN. Um, all right, so let's look at the next one and see what this person is holding. So this person has three and a half million, plenty of DGEN still, plenty of DGEN. But look at this, they also have some Metis. They also have a position on Ave, and they've got more Metis down here. Okay, so this person, this person's into Degen, but also doing some Metis and DeFi type plays. And then the final wallet that we highlighted. Let's see what this person is doing. And so this one, they've still got about two million, and we see here. Okay, so now we're getting to a wallet where they're actually buying some some smaller tokens still. So they made a whole bunch of money on Degen, and what do they put it into? They bought the Trump, I guess this is a Trump meme coin. They've got some USDC, they've got banana. So that's the banana gun, Telegram bot. Still some DGEN, then they've got OX, Pact, Normie. And so to me, this is actually pretty interesting, right? Because I'm saying, okay, this person, this wallet, let's go back and review. 0XCBB to review over here. They turned 141,000 into $855,000 on DGEN. Awesome, right? Great returns. Now we see, okay, now they've got positions in some of these other coins. So it doesn't mean I'm going to go out and ape into these coins, but this might make me say, okay, what makes this person who just made this successful trade so confident in 
Trump token are so confident in banana that they're putting all this money in. Uh, maybe it's something maybe it's something that I would research. And I usually don't uh, go very heavy into meme coins. So most of these things I, I probably wouldn't buy personally, but some of them like Banana or Pocter are usable apps with real products. Uh, final thing today is if you are doing this on Solana or another chain that's not compatible with DBank, Dex Screener will still work, but you won't be able to use DBank. So Sonar Watch is a great application to use for those chains. And to learn more about on-chain analysis, DeFi, and airdrop strategies, be sure to check out my weekly newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com. Shares the latest trends, on-chain analysis, and more every single week. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.